All right, so Buenos Dias, mis amigos. So this will be a short video responding to YouTube Studio Sucks 978. So uh, he started off the conversation by asking me if I'm smoking crack. And no, I'm not smoking crack. And then down here he says that he's been to a Christian school and read the book in its entirety. So he's asking for, uh, you know, what evidence, you know, can you smell God? <laughs> you know, can you hear God? Can you touch God? Can you taste God? Can you see God? And, you know, it's that's a ridiculous question. Uh, if you want evidence for God, look into the mirror, right? Um, you <laughs> um, were created by God. Now, it's obvious that, you know, somebody told you that you were created by a monkey and that you evolved from the monkey and now are a super monkey. You believe right now you're a super monkey that will one day evolve into a green little man with antennas on your head. Now, that is faith all right you have to have faith to believe that now I would show you verses you already know this stuff because you know when you were a little kid you went to school and you read the Bible and now you don't need to read the Bible but by your own words you already know what the Bible says and that the faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so you are hoping to one day be a green little man with antennas on your head that's faith and of course I don't have to show you this because you already know Hebrews chapter 11 speaks a whole lot on the importance and the effect of faith it's incredible now you're just putting your faith into what other men have told you and how they told you that you're a monkey or a super monkey alright so that's faith now in Isaiah 29 it's interesting because it says surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not so that's what you're doing you're saying that God didn't make you and that's based on faith or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding essentially you're doing the same thing God doesn't understand even though God's the one that made you it's incredible, really. And, of course, I'm, I said I was going to make this short, so let me make this real short. So you know what the Bible says. All right. You're very, very aware. So I don't have to show you um, any of the stuff. But for those that either have not heard this or those that don't get tired of hearing this, in Romans chapter 1, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even as eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. And you know the judgment of God, and you still reject God. You, you still reject the Lord Jesus Christ, even though you know the judgment of God and what the judgment is for them that reject the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so you are without excuse. By your own words, you have condemned yourself. All right, so I hope I answered you.